Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to the Toy Amigos YouTube channel. This is Cheney 180 and today we're going to be taking a look at this here Marvel Legends Hercules. Uh, I was able to scoop this up thanks to my buddy Rectangular. Uh, they were selling them and I wanted to get it early, so I did. So here it is. So uh, it's all new sculpt on this figure. Pretty nice figure. Um, I know I had uh, some feedback on the last review, so I'm trying to up the, uh, you know, energy here today. So let's take a look at this guy here. We've got a whole new sculpt. Uh, <clears throat> paint apps are okay, but, uh, you know, I mean, obviously they could be better. Obviously when some customizers get their hands on these guys, they're going to make him look uh, real, real good here. Uh, as you can see, everything is sculpted pretty nicely here. Uh, unfortunately, we have no paint here on the arms, but we do get a fuzzy little chest here, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we have all new legs, it looks to be. Uh, all, basically, all new body here. You got all new, all new, all new, all new. So as you can see, the face is pretty nice. They sculpted his, uh, I don't know what to call that, around his head there. Um, but uh, that looks pretty good. He's got his uh, cool little man bun up top there. He does come with this uh, axe mace thing and this sword. And the cool part about this figure is you also get a couple fisted hands as well. So that's pretty cool. You've got that uh, line insignia there. I'm not I'm not too versed on Hercules, so don't you know don't tear me up in the comments below. But, uh, you know, you got the bracelets with some decent sculpt there as well. You got all these little uh, pouches here along the belt, which look pretty nice. Cool thing about this is it's got a little tab there. And you can uh, remove this. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And we will get into the articulation of the figure. Uh, the bracelet things here, they also pop off as well. So when you pop off the uh, hand here, you can remove them as well. Or you could glue them on and leave them there if you want. <clears throat> so what we have here is we have a uh, head on a ball joint with a hinge there. And he'll look up about that far. Can bury his uh, chin in his chest there. Got a little tiny bit of pivot there side to side now the shoulders a lot of people were speculating that we were going to get butterfly joints with this guy and it's just the kind of a weird design it's like a ball joint with uh, a shoulder piece on the end here so unfortunately that's as high as his arms will go up uh, they do go all the way around so you do get that um, you get a bicep swivel there you get a double hinged elbow which goes about that high you get a uh, wrist swivel and hinge. You get an ab crunch that goes forward about that far. Goes back pretty far. As you can see. You get a waist swivel here. Legs come out about that far. Go forward that far. Uh, comes back about that far. You get a thigh swivel. A double hinge knee. Which that top one doesn't want to come down. There we go. And you get a... Uh, calf I guess hinge not hinge calf uh, swivel jeez sorry and then you also get a uh, hinge at the ankle with a pivot there so that's pretty cool and then and this whole thing actually the uh, you know the sculpt on the boots here was actually pretty nice as well I thought for a second that what this was is a another uh, swivel here at the ankle but it wasn't so you get your swivel at the uh the calf up there which works out pretty well it doesn't break up the sculpt or anything it's pretty well hidden everything looks good even when you uh bend his knee here it doesn't break it up too bad so everything looks nice and smooth like i said before you got these uh paint apps of the hairy chest wish it would have continued down to the arms that would have been really cool but Oh well, I'm not uh, I'm not complaining too much. All in all, we got an all new sculpt with pretty decent paint apps with it, you know. With this belt here, it's got, you know, it's all molded in this green plastic. And we've got a little bit of gold paint here, some gray, 
some brown, a little bit of silver. It's still a pretty decent amount. And his weapons seem to load up in here fairly easily. I know this one kind of snags a little bit. And you got to kind of work it out of there and work it back in. But due to the nice stretchy plastic, you're uh, able to do so. And it actually snaps together fairly easily as well. So I know this is a more, what is it, a more modern costume for him. So it looks pretty cool. Well, we've got a little bit of... A little bit of slop there but not too bad so all in all uh, we are not even sure exactly what is coming in the wave that this figure is coming in I know that there is uh, other reviews out there of the living laser and um, I forget that guy's name but anyway those two are out as well let's take a closer look at the sword here looks pretty nice seems to be molded in Let's see. I want to say it's molded in this kind of gold. It's plat. No, it's molded in the silver plastic with the gold paint. There you go. Right there. And then you get his mace uh, axe thing here. Which, they look pretty nice. I mean, they're painted fairly well for what you get, you know. And then I'm assuming he's going to come with a Build-A-Figure piece as well. And then I'm not sure if we've gotten these fists before either. We may have, but if we did, I, I'm not uh, certain. Now, unfortunately, I have uh, given up the ghost on the old Hercules figure. And I ended up giving him away to my friend's uh, young boys. I had a bunch of old legends that I wasn't doing anything with. And so, unfortunately, I can't really compare. So what I'll do here... So I'll set him here, maybe throw a picture in right about here. Hopefully I can make that work. If not, oh well. So what we're going to do next here is we're going to do a couple comparisons with some other Marvel Legends. Okay, so here he is next to this uh, kind of re-release, newer repainted Ares figure that we got with uh, that Thor wave a while back. And that was the... Uh, the Ragnarok Thor wave, yeah, and then here he is next to the Omega Red, which does have the, uh, you know, butterfly joint. But the way that they molded that and, like, kind of, like, engineered the shoulder, you, I don't think that would work fairly well. I don't know. Maybe they just had to call it quits at a certain point, but that, that shoulder is just really strange to me. I don't know why it bugs me so much or perturbs me or whatnot. But as you can see, he stands, you know, I don't think Hercules is supposed to be the huge guy but he's not little either so all right so here he is next to uh she hulk and ghost rider and here he is next to this marvel now thor as you can see thor is considerably larger and we have lady sif here Looks pretty cool. So it seems like his scale fits in fairly well. It's not too uh, too horrible. And then just kind of so you can gauge it. He's around the same size as that uh, that cable there. And then here we have this uh, newer classic Captain America. And then we have. I think it's Boar. I don't, I don't remember this guy's name exactly, but he's from the uh, Thor SDCC box set. You can see he pretty much towers over Hercules here. And then we have Jane Foster Thor. So as you can see, the size is pretty decent. Uh, all in all, it is a fairly nice figure. I would... Uh, you know, if you're looking forward to this figure, I would definitely recommend picking it up. It's, uh, you know, also this, uh, the hands are pretty stretchy here, so you can get his, uh, accessories in and out with these. Just plug these in here. Like so. So, yeah. There we go. Yeah, no, I would recommend this guy. Um, I'm not sure, like I said, what wave he's going to come in. 
or what the wave is going to be that he comes in. I know it's like an Avengers wave, so I know Todd had actually posted something today st stating he's going to be in a wave with, you know, rumored like Living Laser, and uh, I always forget that, that guy's name with the big weird cape, <clears throat> and Citizen V, and uh, a couple of the uh, Avengers Endgame figures. So, I'm probably in an Avengers wave coming soon. So make sure to look out for him if this is uh, what you like. But yeah, no, I would definitely recommend this guy. So thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to click like, uh, leave us a comment, click subscribe, and uh, hit that little bell down there so that you can uh, see our latest news videos. Uh, we're going to be putting out some more news videos, some more pre-order videos, you know. So make sure to hit that bell. Thanks for watching, guys.